Jazzy Boy Production, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned into 89.7, Coppola's number one hit station. And of course, welcome to the first edition of, yes, of course, Talking Film with Yar FM. Now, I'm pretty excited and I've been following and watching a lot of local stories and amazing productions locally. And believe me, I feel like the Zambian film industry is heading somewhere. Now, obviously, we need to put down some fundamentals here and there to make sure that this grows in the right way okay now this program will talk about film and creative industry in zambia your favorite shows and films as well and also reveal some celebrity secrets and behind the scenes as well as tell you where to get the necessary skills in film production with me in studio right now i have martina mwanza who is co-founder and managing director of sotambe film institute based in kitwe and obviously the one and only copala commander who is uh in film production that's ice morgan the most popular dop how are you guys you good we're good. Okay, you sure? I am. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, this is very interesting. Starting off uh, with you, Martina, how's Sotambe doing right now? Thank you so much. Uh, Sotambe is doing very well. Okay. Uh, I think we have uh, grown over the past nine years mm-hmm. since we were established into being the biggest uh, film festival in the country, promoting Southern African filmmakers, which I'm extremely excited about. So, when the festival is happening every year in September, with people coming from Malawi, Botswana, Zimbabwe. I think it's important to do this, uh, you know, kind of uh, networking and collaboration. So I'm very happy about that. And in addition, because people know us as a film festival, especially here on the Copper Bowl. Yeah. But in addition, I think two years ago, we signed the MOU with Zamcom and we are now ready to offer certificate program in filmmaking, which is like super exciting. We'll get to that. We'll get <laughs> to that. Morgan, how are you and uh, how the works on the ground? I, f- I feel like you're the man on the ground running with cameras, sound check and so on. What is happening with you and where have you been? What's going on? Well, I'm around and, uh, you know, you're behind the camera so no one sees you. Yeah. But people see what you do. So quite lots of uh, stuff happening on the Copper Belt. Yeah, we have quite a lot happening. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you were described as the most popular DOP. What is that about? Uh, it's simply somebody who looks through the camera and gets a script from a director and then interprets it and uh, put it into visuals. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard of it. You, ma- you make it sound easy. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you are the final person. The people who see a movie through your eyes. All right. Yeah. Uh, now you may never heard of uh, heard of Sotambe and their programs, and we've talked about uh, DOP and so on. But uh, uh, Martina, what is what is the background and the objectives? Okay, uh, of Sotambe. And right now we also have introduced the certificate program, which I said we'll get to, and filmmaking. So anyone can apply. Uh, can anyone apply to study the film? Okay. Yes. So we are uh, open for admission. I want to emphasize that we are working with Zamcom, which is extremely, you know, great collaboration that we have going because the certificate program is accredited by Teveta. And so right now we are open for admission, uh, particularly here in Kitfe. We want to start the term one in uh, end of March. And then for Zamcom running the same program in Lusaka, they will start in the end of May. So why I'm excited is because, you know, it's a foundation of the first Zambian film school do something professional, do something, you know, train young people in the film production. I think this is what has been missing. Um, a lot of people, great filmmakers that we have in this country are all self-taught. They are very passionate and self-taught, which is very great. Now we want to add the additional step by providing uh, academic training in film production. So okay. we are very happy and anybody can apply and be part of us. But well, that's interesting. Where is the school and uh, what are the qualifications needed for one to apply? I'm self-taught and so on, and I just love it. Should I? Can I come through and just say, I want to study this. I have no background. Are you going to accommodate me in the school? Yes, we will. The school is open. Uh, we want to work with people who are passionate uh, for film and in film production. So whether you've done already some videos, you know, you are playing with the editing systems or whatever your passion is, we are very, we are very much welcoming you. Uh, we are requesting for the great of certificates, but at the end of the day, what is most important for you to be admitted at the school is your passion. So we rely on your motivation letter, which is basically you writing to us why you want to study film. So we want to work with people who, you know, who feel it. And then the school, you ask where is it based, we are happy to work with Mindelo Ecumenical Foundation. And so I'm very grateful that the, the courses will take place uh, at MEF here in Kitfe. They also offer boarding houses, so we are very much set um, to have our students here. 
All right. So just to emphasize, maybe, uh-huh. uh, you know, it starts with passion. Much of the practitioners now have the passion background. So it's that that we're looking at. Yes, uh, there's that saying where you need, you know, credits and stuff. You need grade 12. Mm-hmm. But in order to add the business uh, element in this industry, I think it needs to start with passion because most of the people that are practi- uh, practicing now film uh, are all passionate. I like what Martina said. It's not yeah. an application letter. It's a motivation letter, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> but some people are scared. You know, when they hear motivation letter, they yeah. are not sure. So they are calling me, you want somebody from church to recommend me or something. Yeah. That no motivation letter, it's you. It's your Why letter, Why you actually. want to study film? What do you want to do? It's your application. What drives you, you know? Coming from so you. That's what we need. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we are excited. Morgan is one of the facilitators at the school. Yes. Oh, so okay. please, people, you know, this is a great opportunity to be taught by somebody from within the industry. What, what are the benefits of coming through and learning this like you did? Uh, Why shouldn't someone just go through their own? Like they feel they know this already. What, what's the benefit so of them are, coming through to this school? There are three things. I think I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. I've been on international sets. Yeah. Um, so school gives you the procedures when you learn you're going to know how to interact with other people just like in other course there is uh, a technical language in mechanics mm-hmm. there's a technical language uh, that doctors use mm-hmm. you see what i mean yeah yeah so uh when that school comes in i think you'll be able to relate when you're working with other filmmakers from anywhere else you're going to have that confidence uh, i'll give you an example we filmed uh, vanguard uh, that's a jack chang movie yeah, from yeah. zambia so it was very easy for me to simply just go Fit through in. and start, yeah. not start learning. Because if I have something that I've learned through passion, one thing that will come is, uh, first of all, maybe I might not be sure if I really need to do this, <laughs> so I yeah. don't need to do this, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you know what you're doing, you are from a uh, school background, the practice is the same from Europe, Africa, and here film is the same. So yeah, okay, that's the advantage. Uh, getting uh, just uh, to clarify once again, yep. Martina, you did say this course is accredited, right? Yes. Just clarify that once again. Somebody probably missed it or something. If I do a course with uh, this team, my paperwork is valid and I can show like this to somebody like, yes. Yes, yes. yes. It's accredited by Teveta through our partnership with Zamcom. So it's a 10 months program. And uh, we are doing everything like uh, A to Z in film. Pre-production, production, post-production. It's very hands-on. So uh, students will be able to produce a short film during their studies for the graduation as a graduation project. Mm-hmm. We'll be having uh, guest lectures, people from, uh, from the industry within Zambia. And we are also going to have a virtual classes with experts from outside. So we really want as much as exposure and a lot of networking you know, to be done whilst you are at school already. All right. This is the first film uh, film school on the Copper Belt. Ladies and gentlemen, right now you are tuned into Talking Film with the RFM. And in studio, I have Martina Mwanza, who is obviously the co-founder and managing director of Sutambe Film Institute. And not forgetting the Copala commander himself, Ice Morgan. All right. Yeah. Back to you, Martina. Uh, people need or maybe are excited about this. They want to apply. How can they do that? Who do they contact? Emails? Any payments? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> no, no, uh, they can call um, Sotambe line. Uh, can I mention it? Yes, indeed. 0961-914461. So 0961 They can call anytime. They can use WhatsApp. Uh, they can also email uh, filminstitute at sotambe.org. And uh, our website will be running in a bit, so they can also use the website where they can uh, actually download the form. But what we do, we send you the form. Uh, there's an admission fee of 100 kwacha that you can pay later on whilst you are submitting the form with all the attachments that we are requiring, uh, especially the motivation letter. And then now uh, school fees are 4,000 uh, per term. They are all three right. terms altogether. So it's a pretty much a certificate standard. Okay. Talking film on YFM. I've been talking to... Uh, I feel like saying your real name. <laughs> your Morgan. Name. Morgan. Ice Morgan. <laughs> Ice Morgan right yeah. here. Copala Commander. <laughs> and obviously Martina Mwanza as well. Co-founder <laughs> of Sotambe. Uh, as we wrap this up, I'm pretty excited about Zambian movies. I've yeah. seen a couple, uh, couple before. Yeah. Um, and you are behind the camera as DOP yeah. and so on. Yes. Any movies that um, people should look out for? How, much, how many movies should people be excited about 
uh, being released soon. And any word of any cinema coming through to the Copper Belt? Because we have the film thing. You guys probably know or have read rumors of a cinema <laughs> coming through. These are the questions we get on the streets all the time. So I'm asking on behalf of the people. Maybe I would want to, yeah, as I answer this one, I would want to also to appeal to maybe a stakeholders that yeah. we've had the cinema actually built here at inception when they started uh, building the, the mall. This year, that is yes, this year, yes. yeah. I've actually gone there, I visited it. And you were but excited. Only that I was excited. That was about two years ago, but I haven't completed it. I don't know, maybe we don't have an investor to mm-hmm. actually just move in. We've had a cinema in Indola, I think that's uh, with Movie TV or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we need a lot of cinemas, but I also uh, tell people that we have a lot of productions that we're working on uh, for this year. You know, whenever the year is starting, the number of productions that are coming that are in pre production. So they should look up for those movies. And maybe my appeal would be let's have the cinemas come through. We have one Wh- cinema. Without there. cinemas, how can we catch the movies? Right now, uh, right now, apart from Sotambe festivals, uh, <laughs> right now is uh, I think I think there is something coming. Uh, I would mention the Bascop aspect of it, mm-hmm. where we are starting maybe screening movies in communities the way it used to be way back. Yeah. Remember, we used to have uh, uh, community halls and stuff where you could go and watch and have stuff and people play. Yeah, so that is coming back. But however, we're looking forward that we can have uh, cinemas coming back. Because the first premiere of a movie is actually what helps a filmmaker mm-hmm. uh, yes. recoup so their money. Exactly. Yes. Uh, right now, we have the mainstream media where you see your movies on ZNBC mm-hmm. and platforms like Zambezi and uh, the, 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 the coming of the social media with uh, premiering movies on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. But we're looking forward to having cinema because cinema is tradition. Everybody will have like a movie yes. over the weekend and go there and watch uh, that way people will support the film industry with whatever productions are coming up now. We'll yes, talk more about that next week and talk about <laughs> more movies next week. I know Martina yeah. wants us to continue <laughs> going and going. Yes. But uh, yes, thank you so much for interesting insights. And uh, the last words for the listeners for this particular program. I know we'll be back next week, Tuesday at 16 hours again. But uh, just for this week. Okay, uh, first Especially I want with to the program, the certificate program. The certificate yes. program, yes. So I want to encourage every parent out there to encourage the student, the child, the children to send them to study film, especially those who are cre- show creativity, you know, who, those who don't want to go sitting in the office and go by the book, you know, and knock off, you know, from 9 to 17 or whatever. Mm-hmm. They want to be creative. So please encourage them to, to study film. It's an it's a extremely broad industry. Just like Morgan mentioned, it's not yes. about acting only. You know, there are a lot of uh, departments. departments in it. Yes. So I would like to encourage them. Um, I would like to encourage uh, young people to, you know, just break through themselves and just come through and see where, they, where, where it can take them. Because a lot of people are already passionate, a lot of people are already doing something. So just come um, study with us, study yes. with people like Morgan. Yes. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, other than that, I want to thank YARFM. You guys, thank you so much for your support. It's so nice that you are hosting our show here. And then a uh, big thank you to Zamcom, who are making it possible. You know, being accredited by Teveta, it's something huge. So it is not just the paper that you receive, it's academic certificate, yes. for which we are very grateful. And then, of course, our partners here on the Copa, but um, Mindoro Ecumenical Foundation for giving yes. us the space. Um, I love, you know, the scenery of Mik- Mindoro Ecumenical Foundation. Yeah. Just that place is beautiful. So... Yeah, thank you so very much, all of you. And thanks people like Morgan, you know, it's such an honor to work with people from the industry who are willing to lecture, you know, from the time, come and teach young ones. So thanks. And I think the, 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 the media background of Mindoro Ecumenical Foundation from way back, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I think Southern Africa, if not Africa, not Southern Africa, Africa, mm-hmm. people from Ghana used to come there. So there's that uh, media attachment to it. Yes, yes. And my last appeal, I think, would be to... Uh, to, we know parents that we have uh, free education now. Yes. Maybe I'd appeal to the Ministry of Education to start incorporating this uh, in their curriculum that we should have people to start at a tender age. Because, you know, people who know my child when she's uh, he or she is at school, it's the career's master. Yeah. So that they advise me, I know mm-hmm. what to start preparing my child. Other than just saying, no, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to mm-hmm. be a doctor. So see the creativity while they're too young. Yeah. Education is free now. So find out from the careers master on that open day, find out what your son or your daughter is good at, and then let's start promoting it from down there. People like us learned it the hard way because we had to go against all odds, yeah. you know, go against our parents' wishes <laughs> uh, to become who we are right now. But I think the, the benefits are seen now.
So there are more benefits to come. So let's promote fume. All right. We've got to wrap it up. And obviously, we'll be back next week, 16 hours, same time, same place. My name is Fabulous Tim. And obviously, thanks to Martina and Ice Morgan for coming through. We'll have another great episode next week. From then to uh, from now until then, <laughs> yes, stay tuned to 89.7. Jazzy Boy Production, ladies and gentlemen.